you were one of the successful ones that successfully walked that path of emancipation from this business that was virtually owning you 24 seven. And you succeeded in bringing in some really get great talent to operate the business and to strengthen the business. I think your story is pretty universal in that when you began to allow yourself to decompress, to get back to first love issues that are inside of you for the business, my sense of it is that there was a creative energy that returned to you that you were able to recall the beauty of your own creative force and that that in and of itself has seemingly from my perspective opened up entire new universes where you are now arguably one of the top security experts on the planet and i don't think that some of that exponential growth was available before when you were so tethered to the business. Do you agree? And why don't you take some time to share with, us, share with us your real life story about that transition from being compressed to decompressing to being able to tap back into creative energy and then all of the very cool things that happened in the decade after. Uh, and I realized, well, and again, this is before all of the credit card breaches started to happen in 2013. So this would be, you know, half a decade prior to that, um, started to see, okay, what are we good at? Well, we're good at payment security and nobody else can do it right. And everyone's frustrated that they have to do it and the risks are really high. And um, so we, we, we started focusing on that. And also uh, part of my mission or my vision was to protect ministries, not just do their payment processing. So that really, felt fit right into, into who our identity was in our DNA. So uh, we started focusing on that. And then uh, as the breaches started to occur, um, you know, the target breaches and all the breach a week that everybody's heard for the last uh, seven or eight years now, um, we were the first and, and the front of that game. And, um, and we, you know, it's very happy to be able to make, to, to show that all these ministries and faith-based uh, nonprofits and charities were protected. And, you know, thankfully, uh, and, and I hope directly as attributable to that is because we've been there protecting them. That's why you don't see them in the news all the time, like you see everybody else. Um, so then a lot of like-minded, um, you know, business for profit or organizations, and I use that organization, word organization specifically, I mean, businesses that care about their customers, um, universities that care about their, 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 uh, their students started to take this. Uh, being early adopters of our security technology, and then it kind of went on from there. So being able to step out and say what's important about us um, and taking something that was just a feature before and making it the main thing, the main attraction, and then now that main attraction is taking the payment processing almost to the, to the back of the stack, and now we have 125 other payment processors that were competitors during that previous time, and some of the largest names in the, in the not some of, you know, four of the actual top five largest payment processing organizations in the world are now consumers of, of my service for their own payment security uh, uh, platforms. And so, so if I had stayed underwater with this really cool feature, we would now be a relatively small payment processor, probably number, you know, 5,000 out of 50,000 um, with a really cool feature and a, and a real good competency and some really excited clients. And, and instead, uh, we're that too with, uh, uh, you know, four of the five largest in the world and 125 others uh, and some of the largest brands, you know, the largest rental car agency, you know, three of the top airlines internationally. Just It just, the, the lists go on. But the point being, had I not been able to focus on that, and I never would have had the time or energy to do that, and I couldn't have taken the risk to do that. Because if the money was coming in from the payment processing, how could I say, let me go ahead and just 
take a month off over here and figure out what we can do with this really cool feature and make a whole new platform and paint the sky blue with it. I've not been able to do that. I have no time, no energy, wouldn't even have the time and energy to think of being able to do that, let alone actually accomplishing it. So that margin there, that emancipation allowed me the time and the space to uh, become an entrepreneur again in my own business and, um, and take us in to the next vision, right? Because if like, people perish for lack of vision, and that's not just out from the outset, that's a constant thing. Uh, you always need to be having vision. Uh, and that vision needs to continually become relevant. Otherwise, um, what was the great direction right now? Um, you know, we go off a cliff because we need to turn this way now to go around. So I think that vision has always got to be a part of that. And we're actually not acting out of vision and purpose and mission when we don't emancipate ourselves. We're just running around in the desert in circles. I think that helping executives decompress and return to that state of creativity and to fall back in love with the child that they original, originally bore is one of my favorite things to sit just slightly on the outside and the periphery of that and to watch that process of new creative energies being born inside of this person and uh, also being proud of my clients who take the risk and throw themselves into the unknown and actually live to tell the story you just told, which is we were a great company doing great things, running it through a periscope. And, be, and, and because I allowed myself to decompress and to return to creativity and first love, we have become a global giant servicing some other global giants and had you never taken the time to decompress you just would have never recaptured that creative energy so i'm, I'm really proud of you because I, I i know all of the internals that go into that sort of a pivot and you've done those very very well 